How much protein do you need to eat while you're on a fasting regimen? What's going on guys? My name is Joel Staley, your favorite fitness coach, and today we're answering the question, how much protein? To answer this question, it's important to note that there aren't any really scientific studies that I could find, and I'm a little bit over the uh, scientific studies to be honest with you anyway. Uh, but I can say I've worked with over 1,100 clients now, and I've been doing this myself for over four years. So I'm just going to provide you with what I've gathered over those years and over working with those countless clients. And that is first starting off with the typical recommendation. So if you're used to meal prepping and counting your calories and just trying to give it the old college try, You've probably heard that you want to strive to have one gram per pound of body weight or one gram per pound of lean body weight of protein. So that means if you're 200 pounds and lean, you want to shoot for 200 grams of protein each day. If you're 300 pounds but you have uh, 120 pounds of fat on you, you want to aim for like 180 grams. And then you got to calculate your carbs and your fats and everything from there. It's this giant math equation that Honestly, any busy dad has no business even trying to calculate, let alone adhere their life to. So that is the typical recommendation. Very important to understand. Typically that puts you at about 150 to 250 grams of protein every single day is the recommendation. It's important to know if you haven't heard about protein fasting. Protein fasting is something you can do whether you're actually fasting from whole foods or not. And what that means is you give your body some downtime from constantly having protein. And the reasoning behind that is think of it like when your wife or husband or counterpart or kids go on vacation or they leave town for a little bit and uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder. And when, when something's always around, they're not really appreciated, they're not utilized. The same is true for fasting. If you're eating protein every hour throughout the day, your muscle absorption, it just kind of takes it for granted and it's not gonna utilize it as well as it possibly could. Whereas if you just stick more to carbs and fats for a couple days, bring your protein way down, or do what I do and do a long fast, and of course your protein's way down. Now when you reintroduce that protein, what happens is your, your muscles are like a dry sponge and it cannot absorb that protein fast enough. It just loves it. So the utilization is just off the charts. This is something you can do with or without fasting, but it's important to note when we talk about my recommendation when you are fasting and how much protein you should get. Because if you're counting calories and all that stuff, you're playing checkers and we're playing chess over here. Um, so just know that. It's totally different, totally different. We'll get into why. So fasting thumb rule. This all came up because I was talking to a client, Alex, shout out to Alex Spurlock, who lost 51 pounds in 90 days, and we were talking, and he took a pretty ketogenic approach, meaning he was doing moderate protein, uh, high fat, almost no carbs, and what was crazy is he said that before doing my program, he was averaging about 200 grams of protein every single day, and then once he did my program uh, and calculated it, he was doing about 200 grams of protein uh, every single week big difference but the shocker was when you see his before after pictures which I'll try to post right over here somewhere he didn't lose an ounce of muscle as a matter of fact it looks like his arms got even bigger and now why is this why is why is it so different well when you're fasting as we've talked about in previous videos you get a lot more health benefits number one you get into ketosis meaning your body is burning fat for fuel when you're constantly consuming, your body is burning carbs, it's burning fat, and it's burning protein, meaning it's not very muscle sparing. It's gonna burn whatever it has to to keep the engine going. Once you get into forced ketosis, about 36 hours in, your body is just hunting for fat. It just wants fat, it doesn't want the protein, there's no carbs to burn, and so you're a fat burning machine. And this is why it leaves your muscle almost completely alone. Aside from that, of course, the human growth hormone gets jacked up up to 300 to 2,000% depending on the individual and the fast you're doing. But between those two things, fasting is a very, very muscle sparing thing. And so you can get away with a lot less protein. So what is my thumb of rule? Oh, my thumb of rule. Jeez Louise. My rule of thumb, 
is on refeed days, meaning on days that you're eating, you want to aim for 100 grams of protein. Now this doesn't mean that you need to break out the MyFitnessPal and calculate all this stuff. It's very easy to hit. As a matter of fact, even if you do a 48 hour fast and your wife's like, hey, we're having spaghetti tonight and I, I skimped on the meat because the shipping supply ordeal is crazy and beef's expensive. Not to worry, you can hit 100 grams of protein with two scoops of like a 50 gram serving protein powder. So even if your wife totally screws you over on the protein refeed or whatever it is, terrible circumstances, you're at a pizza party with the office, there's no protein to be found, just know you can go home and have two scoops of your protein powder and your money. Now obviously you wanna get your protein from Whole Foods, which is very, 100 grams is very achievable. Uh, and if you need to throw out a scoop of protein powder after your meal to make sure you hit it, easy. But the point of this video isn't to say uh, 97 grams is the exact right number. The point of the video is to really illustrate that you can get away with a fraction, a tiny fraction of the protein that is recommended during the uh, typical diet because you're forcing your body to do something that's going to fight you the whole way. Uh, as opposed to when you let your body do what it's meant to do, which is fast, you can get away with a lot less protein and you don't need to carry your Tupperware around with you filled with cold chicken and broccoli. If you've ever done that, you know what I'm talking about. So hopefully that answers your question. One thing I will mention is um, only because I get it, you want to, you, we've been conditioned so well with the marketing of protein that uh, it's, it can be weird not getting enough protein. So one little hack, and I'll write it up here just in case you uh, want to remember it. Fortigen, which I get absolutely nothing from you buying, but it is a protein replacement. And what that does is it comes um, with the equivalent of about 50 grams of protein for four calories. And uh, personal trainers, leave me alone. I don't need to hear that's impossible. You guys, again, checkmate. We're playing a different game over here. But hopefully that... <laughs> spicy today, man. I'm spicy. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let me know any questions you have in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.